Peace and blessings. Peace and blessings. Assalamu alaikum. What it do, what it do, what it do, man. This is the one and only as a car bringing you flame. You already know. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe. Hit that bell. You be left in the loop every time your boy drop that work. You feel me? Shout out to the black YouTube out there. Big Brother Ticket TV, Carcino, Kwame Brown, The League Attorney, JR Wisdom, Mr. Palmer, Too Raw for Sports, Too Raw for TV, Kick It with Mr. Mars, LC Predator Catcher, JD Black, Tariq Nasheed, Dr. Umar Johnson, ISUPK, NOI, holding it down on these platforms. The minister been holding it down on these platforms. Corey Holcomb, Kevin Samuels, you already know the business, holding it down on these platforms, homie. This channel is prescribed for the black man and the black woman in the hills of North America, going through the struggle, going through the grind, getting it out the mud, cream, always. And I mean always rise to the top. Enjoy the video. What's up, baby? What's up with it? Man, you already know what the business be. You know what the business be, man. It's about 4.58 in the a.m. Doing what it do. You know what I'm saying? Bringing this flame. I'm charging them batteries, black man and black woman. And I tell you, a brother feel good. A brother feel good, but I still got to cook. I still got to cook on these no good individuals. No good, no good, no good. My thing is, my thing is, if you don't want to have no child, don't bring them, don't bring them. Don't bring them into this world. Don't let no other man govern them. Don't 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 leave them unattended. You know what I'm saying? And man, young ladies, man, I, I don't know what the mo is, but what the what the motivation is of life for y'all. Is it about having a brick house? I mean, a brick apartment and just pushing out kids and not giving a damn on how you living your life, living life like a low life. Give you a snatch to every man that come about to say he just want to love you or he just disrespect you. Well, you don't even take care of yourself with your booty dudes and no, no responsibility. Going around trying to look like a white woman with a blonde fake hat ain't yours. I'm tired of it, man. I'm tired of it. I am so tired of it. And then you just don't take care of your children. You don't take care of your children. You don't want to face responsibility. This makes me sick. Parents, boy, this makes me sick. Mm, mm, mm. But we're going to cook on this subject when I get back on Musa Azakar TV. We'll be right back. That have the luxury of having the child's father around. To the mothers that have the luxury of being able to get a day or two to yourself. To the mothers that have... More than just three or four people in the village. <laughs> Please appreciate that. Because the mothers that don't, I'm tired. I'm tired. I didn't want to be a single mom. I don't deserve to be a single mom. <laughs> Haven here in Memphis tonight, a two-year-old child is dead. The mom's boyfriend charged with multiple counts of child abuse. Action News finds Walter Murphy spoke with the sister of the man who's now in jail about the boy's death and how she doesn't believe her brother did it. Walter? 
Yeah, Joe, well, she says that she's going to stand by her brother's side until she sees an autopsy report for two-year-old Anthony Bakari. But this police affidavit here reveals a tragic list of circumstances that have led to the investigation by the Department of Children's Services and have police to believing that it could result in more charges as the investigation continues. <sighs> This yard on Margot Street was quiet Tuesday afternoon. A much different scene than what first responders found Monday morning when they got to this Oakville home and found two-year-old Anthony Bakari not breathing, bleeding from his mouth, and with bruises across his small body. Little Anthony didn't survive, and now his mom's boyfriend, 22-year-old Anthony Andrews, is facing multiple child abuse charges. Well, I sure hate that, but I didn't know anything about it. The affidavit lists details Andrews supposedly shared with police on the scene. One of the gruesome claims is that he struck the toddler in the face, back, and buttocks seven to eight times with a braided dog toy. Andrews also allegedly told officers that a few weeks before he hit the child harder than he should have with a belt. This not my brother. He loves kids. On Tuesday, Andrews' sister, Brittany Andrews, told us that she doesn't believe the picture that's being painted of her brother. The little, little aunt, he, lo he loved that little baby. Like, yeah, that's not his biological son, but he would never hurt that baby. According to statements little Anthony's mom gave to police on the night that he died, She'd recently started to notice, quote, excess bruising and wounds, which she says Andrews told her were from her son falling out of bed. In this photo shared with us by Andrews' sister, you can see the two-year-old with a black eye and a swollen lip. She says her brother told her that the wounds came from little Anthony falling off of a trampoline. He did not beat him to death. The autopsy report has not come back yet. There is no proof of his death. They're like... His death is unknown. And so that is released, and that, that, that information is released to us. My brother did not kill that little baby. Andrews is still being held at 201 Poplar on a $250,000 bond. He's expected to be back in court on Thursday. Police believe more charges could be forthcoming pending that autopsy result. Joe? Now, check this now. Mom, whose two-year-old died allegedly after, after discipline, Involving braided dog toy booked on a $1 million bond. Memphis, Tennessee, Shelby County Jail. Record shows Sade Barkay, 26 years old, was booked on Tuesday at a $1 million bond after extradition from Texas. Uh, uh, she is charged with first degree murder, aggravated child neglect, aggravated child abuse, following the death of a two year old son. Anthony Barke in September. Well, it's sad, man. If you don't want to cheer, man, don't don't leave him unattended. And then dealing with a father that's not theirs. Well, what type of mother is that? It was time a day back in the day. Women, children wouldn't even see if if, if if the mother had a man going in the bedroom. Now it's just it's all free free flowing now. fucking sad what the society has come down to. Men don't know how to handle their emotions. Don't know how to be disciplined. It trips me out. I, I, I trips out the situation. I trips out the situation. We can figure this ain't worth a lick. Ain't worth a quarter. You hear me? Girls, too. The Memphis Police Department reported that Barkay was found unresponsive at a home on Margaret Street in Oakville, a neighborhood during the early morning hours on Monday, September 4th. Police said he wasn't breathing, wasn't bleeding from the mouth, had bruises across his body. He was rushed to a local hospital, but did not survive. What's sad, man. While on the scene, Memphis police spoke with Sade and her boyfriend, 23-year-old Anthony Andrews. Uh, Sade said Andrews took over watching her son that night so that she could get some sleep. According to the police, Andrews admitted to striking a toddler seven to eight times with a braided dog toy in the back of the face and buttocks. He also admitted to hitting the child with a belt harder than he should have. What? Ooh. I mean, 
you see the sister try to uh, cover up for him. You know what I'm saying? But that dog ain't hunting, man. That dog ain't hunting. It's sad. Sad what this world ain't came down to, man. No good bastards, boy. Both of them. This your boy Moose. Do me a favor. Like, share, and subscribe. Like, share, and subscribe. Peace.